Hey everyone, got a box from Intel today, but it's not what you're thinking. So let's go ahead and take a look. And that's right, it's actually an Intel NUC. This is the NUC5PPYH. It's uh, using the Braswell processor, Braswell SOC, uh, the Pentium N3700 specifically. All right, well, while we're unboxing the NUC, let's take a look at the specifications. Uh, again, this is Braswell, so it's the successor to Baytrail D. Uh, we're looking at the top end model, which contains the Pentium N3700, which is a quad core, uh, quad threaded part. It does have a base frequency of 1.6 gigahertz and a burst frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. The uh, package has a total of L2 uh, total L2 cache of two megabytes. And the uh, biggest difference with this generation is the graphics. So with Baytrail, we had a generation seven HD graphics, which was based off of the Ivy Bridge uh, platform. Uh, we only had a total of four execution units on pretty much every model of uh, Baytrail uh, CPUs uh, across the board. And with this generation of Braswell, we're looking at the Broadwell-based Intel HD graphics. So we're looking at generation eight low power graphics. This model has 16 execution units and it has uh, a base clock of 400 megahertz and it does burst up to 700 megahertz as well. So we're seeing a large difference in graphics performance across the board. Braswell does utilize DDR3 memory, uh, which is clocked up to 1600 megahertz. The TDP of the uh, Pentium N3700 is six watts. All right, so jumping off the SOC, let's just take a look at some of the features that this box has. Um, it does have a uh, an SD, XC slot on the side, so it's a nice way to expand the storage. Um, it also has, uh, this model has an option for the two, two and a half inch hard drive or SSD support. Uh, it is SATA 3, so I will be using an older um, Intel SSD I had laying around. Uh, it's not really fast, but it's faster than a mechanical drive, so I'm going to throw that in there. As far as the video or display output, we're looking at HDMI 1.4a, which will do 4K up to 30 hertz. Uh, then we're looking at the uh, a VGA port as well. Um, for audio, we're looking at up to 7.1 through the HDMI, uh, and also has a headphone, microphone, headphone, microphone jack combo um, on the front panel, and then a headphone toss link on the rear. Um, as far as the USB configuration, we're looking at all USB 3.0 ports. We have two on the front. One is charging. Is one one is a charging port. Um, the other two are on the back. Um, it also has uh, a 10 100 1000 Ethernet port um, on the back as well. But the great thing about it is that Intel also includes a wireless AC 3165 M.2 part. Um, looking forward to using wireless AC on this uh, on this NUC compared to the first generation compute stick, which has terrible Wi-Fi, but you already know that. And then it pretty much it, you know, it doesn't come with an OS, it doesn't come with memory, it doesn't come with a hard drive. So I'm gonna be installing an eight gigabyte DDR3 1600 megahertz stick in there, along with that SSD. I'm gonna go install Windows 10 Pro on it and um, should be pretty good. So that's it on the unboxing, guys. We're obviously gonna be doing some testing in the future. Gonna be doing some gaming, some indie gaming, some testing some Counter-Strike on it, Rocket League, all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing some Steam at home streaming on it through Wi-Fi and Ethernet, see how well it performs. Um, so all those videos will be coming in the future. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that I'm not going to be able to get my hands on the on the second generation compute stick as of right now. Uh, there's not anything available to me, so I'm going to have to wait a little, a little bit longer. And I prefer not to come out of pocket to get one. Uh, especially with the new NVIDIA cards and the AMD cards coming out soon. So I'm um, going to have to wait and see if I can grab one on demo. But just wanted to let you know, it might be a little bit longer on the Compute Stick second generation. But regardless, we're taking a look at this NUC. We're going to see how it performs. And with its current price on Amazon right now for $179, it's, it's not that much more expensive than the second, second generation Compute Stick. However, 
you know, you need to purchase memory, you need to purchase hard drive and an OS. So there's obviously additional costs as well. But anyways, that's it guys. Thanks for checking out the video.